I'm Kent Weens, owner of Weens Lawn Care in Parker, Colorado, with a tip for your lawn on an insect on insect insects called mites. Mice are a uh, piercing, sucking piercing insect. They basically suck the juice out of the leaves of the grass blades. And uh, you will typically see mites in the early springtime. Uh, in a mild, warm winter, uh, they will come down from the evergreens, the pines, spruces, junipers, um, down into the lawn. Uh, you will find them in uh, southern uh, and uh, west-facing exposures where there's a lot of sunlight. They like warm areas next to concrete, such as the sidewalks, where there's heat reflection off of a building or from a, maybe a six-foot privacy fence. And uh, the symptoms will be uh, just uh, brown areas in the lawn. And the way you can check for mites is either take a white sheet of paper and lay it down on the top of the grass blades and then sweep, uh, hold the, the sheet of paper with one hand and sweep the top of the grass blades with your other hand onto the sheet of paper and if you have mites, you'll see them uh, on the sheet of paper. There'll be little reddish brown specks that are moving. And the other way is you can just take your hand and just the palm of your hand and just press down onto the turf really hard and then pull it towards you and kind of slide on the top of the grass. And then look at your hand. And if, if you have mites, you'll have reddish brown blood streaks on your hand. And the best thing to do for mites, uh, use, typically you can just water real heavy and drown them out, literally. Um, the best solution, however, is to do uh, in insecticide treatment, uh, insecticide label for spider mites, uh, bank spider mite typically, um, and then water heavily as well after you've uh, followed the label directions exactly on the insecticide. And mites, uh, they can do a fair amount of damage to, to a lawn. And uh, if they do, it will require uh, re replacing or repairing the, the turf by either seeding or sodding. And now I would like to give you a report here. It's called 10 Things You Must Know to Avoid Choosing the Wrong Lawn and Tree Service. First, are they legal business? Do they have a registered trade name with the state in which you reside? It is law in the state of Colorado. Every business must have a registered trade name with the state. This is public information, and you can go to the state's website and do a search on their DBA or doing business as name and see. If they don't, you probably don't want to do business with them. Next, how long have they been in business? Just because they haven't been in business very long doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business. If they have years of experience working for other reputable companies, maybe they just recently made the move to start their own business. But if they just started yesterday and don't have previous experience in the industry, you probably want to stay away. Next, are they registered with the Better Business Bureau? Just because they're not registered with the BBB doesn't necessarily mean they're not a legitimate business. It is very expensive to register with them, and maybe they just can't afford it yet. But you can do a search on their business on the BBB website to see if there are, are any complaints there against them. I always do a check with the BBB when considering using a new business that I'm not familiar with. Next, are they licensed? You must be licensed with the Colorado Department of Agriculture to legally apply pesticides for hire in the state of Colorado. A pesticide is any chemical used to rid you of a pest. In other words, a herbicide is a weed killer, insecticide is an insect killer, fungicide is a disease killer. Next, do they carry insurance? Any business must carry a minimum of $1 million of liability insurance in the state of Colorado. This is in case they do major damage on your property or there is injury or death caused by them. 
Next, how much experience slash knowledge do they have? Do they know enough about lawn and tree care to accurately diagnose and make recommendations for the problems with your lawn and trees? You don't want to be paying them all kinds of money to do the applications and your lawn just continues to look worse and worse because they're not addressing the problems on your property. All they know how to do is the applications and that's it. Next, do they guarantee their work? Some things you can't guarantee, such as seeding, because good results depend on the client doing their part by following watering instructions, and, and we have no control over that. But we can guarantee that the job will be done right the first time and to your satisfaction. Next, why are their prices so much lower on some services, such as aeration? Well, first, you must be sure you're comparing apples to apples. Do they carry liability insurance? If they do damage on your property, will they fix it or replace it at no cost to you? If you pay $25 for your aeration and they do $250 of damage to your sprinkler system and won't fix it or replace it, you haven't saved much, have you? And if necessary, get it in writing before they do the job. Next, do they keep their word? When they say they will be there on a certain day, do they show up? If not, do they give you a call to explain why not? Do they say they will do something and then when it comes down to it, they won't? Do they quote one price, then bill you for more? How is their integrity? Are they a man of their word? Do they return your calls? How soon? And last, do they use safe products? Are they concerned about the health and safety of you, your children, your pets, the environment, the public, your property? Do they list on the invoice they leave with you, products used, any precautions, special instructions, EPA registration numbers in case of emergency, their contact information, your contact information? They should because it's the law. Thank you.